there, please? Must have known we were getting close. You think it was suicide? Well, don't you? No. And I'll bet when the boys from the crime lab get through here, you'll find it was murder. Take a look at that gun. He was a southpaw. Why would he break the habit of a lifetime now? How do you know he was left-handed? I saw him slap his wife. That was Larry Gilbert's last shot. At 7 o'clock in the morning, they removed his body. At 8, they were grilling my client at headquarters. Lieutenant Harris never believed in wasting time. Why don't you make it easy on yourself, Mr. Mitchell? I didn't kill him, Lieutenant. He deserved to die, but I didn't kill him. You felt he was responsible for your daughter's death? He was. That's why Gilbert removed her body, so you couldn't prove she was murdered. That's right. I told you he killed Lydia, but you wouldn't listen. You said it was an accident. Why don't you keep out of this? Does that go for me too, Lieutenant? Oh, Mr. Marlowe. Don't worry, Mr. Mitchell. We'll have you out of here in no time. You're an optimist. Use your head, Manny. Whoever killed Gilbert had to know his way around the house. Now, how did he get in there? Through the service entrance. The doors were wide open. And you were there last week. But that Chinese fellow wouldn't let me see him. But you didn't give up, Mr. Mitchell. And last night... No! All right. Why don't you go downstairs with the sergeant? Don't worry, Mr. Mitchell. We'll get you out. Look, you've got absolutely Why no right... Why don't you run along, Mr. Wells? What did you find out about this? You can't trace it, can you, Manny? Give us time. Who are you kidding? That thing dates back to the Spanish-American War. And you figure that gives your client an out? No, but Mitchell didn't kill him. Then who done it? I don't know. <sighs> Can't believe I'm hearing right. All I know is there are a lot of loose ends. Who took Lydia Mitchell's body out of the casket? I thought we agreed it was Larry Gilbert. And what did he do with the body? It makes you stop and think, huh? <laughs> Really, Mr. Marlowe, I'm afraid I can't tell you any more than I've already told the police. I'll put it right there, will you, Sammy? And that'll be all. Thank you. Would you uh, do the honors? How do you like it? A touch of soda. It's funny you didn't hear the shot. I'm a very sound sleeper. Well, that's a sign of a spotless conscience. I have the feeling you don't approve of me, Mr. Marlowe. Don't let it worry you. I don't approve of myself. Who do you think killed your husband? I thought the police had accorded the honor to Mr. Mitchell. I happen to disagree with him. Oh, but then you're prejudiced. Can you think of anyone else who might have a motive? Well, there's always me. Or should I say I? How'd the two of you get along? Frankly, I loathed him. I married him for his money, you know. He was an extremely successful director and I was a very, very poor actress. And in case you're wondering about the insurance money, he left me approximately... 315,000. Uh, you've been doing some research. A little. Then isn't it fortunate I did speak frankly? Anything else you'd like to know? Yeah. Like what happened to uh, Lydia Mitchell's body? I don't know. But if I happen to run across it, I'll be sure and call you. <laughs> Two drinks later, I was ready to hit the road again. I can't say my meeting with Mrs. Gilbert was a big smash, but she had dropped a clue. Larry Gilbert hadn't found love at home. The question was, had he found it with Lydia Mitchell? There was one recognized authority on the subject. Who is it? Marlo. Just a second. The landlady told me I'd find you in here. I, uh, I'm just getting some of Mr. Mitchell's stuff together. Do you spend much time in here? It isn't very healthy. 
How long did you know Lydia? Since the first day she arrived in Hollywood. It's all that Larry Gilbert's doings. Send her some money and a ticket. I know how you feel, Artie. But without him, you'd never have met her. <laughs> never thought of it that way. Who do you think killed him? Probably his wife. They're two of a kind. You're sure he was in this room the night she died? I'm positive. What's the idea? It's a little stuffy. Don't do anything foolish, Artie. Am I intruding? It's all right. I was just cleaning up his desk. How long had you worked for him? Seven years. Seven horrible, lovely years. And you loved him? How could you tell? And then along came Lydia Mitchell. There were a hundred Lydia Mitchells. Well, this one was different. This one threatened to go to the papers. You think that frightened him? Then why did he kill her? Don't be a fool. Would you really like to know where he was the night she died? Yeah. He was with me. Does that surprise you? If you're telling me the truth, I think I know where she is. Just get out of here. Leave me alone. Get out of here. Screwball ideas. I don't know why I let you lead me around by the nose. You love me, remember? Give me a cigarette. Here he is. Lydia Mitchell's body back in the same grave, we were down at headquarters. We had picked up a passenger on the way. The man I felt made the wheels go round. You certainly removed Lydia's body. You're wrong, I swear. Why would I want to do a thing like that? Because you hated Gilbert and you wanted us to believe he killed her. He did kill her. No, Mr. Wells. Miss Mitchell was not murdered. That was a medical examiner on the phone just now. Her death was accidental, just as we said from the beginning. And Larry Gilbert had absolutely nothing to do with it. She was so much in love with him. And she didn't mean a thing to him. Just another girl. And I found her dead in the room that night. You try to frame him. I hid her body in the woods near the cemetery till after you opened the grave. And I put it back. I didn't think he was going to look there again. You expect me to say I'm sorry about Mr. Gilbert. No, no. No, he deserved everything. She had only looked at me the way she looked at him. Uh, doesn't matter. Important is... Important thing is that... She did like me. She did, you know. See these cufflings? She gave them to me for my birthday. I guess that does it. Does what? You mean you still don't see who murdered Larry Gilbert? Said it wasn't him. I suppose he's got an alibi. A pip? Larry Gilbert died around 10.30 last night. He's got this report from Cooper a little while ago. Remember where you were at 10.30? Yeah. We were driving back from the cemetery. And who was along for the ride? I don't mind me. 
Just carry on. I'll come back in the morning. Well, I wouldn't think of it. Why didn't Sammy announce you? I came in through the back. I didn't want to bother anybody. Well, how very considerate. I don't believe you've met Mr. Lawford. <clears throat> no, I don't think I have. How are you? Fine, thank you. You probably consider this in rather poor taste. Why? Well, I am supposed to be in mourning. Oh, I'd be a hypocrite. You told me you hated your husband. If nothing else, I am honest. But not completely. You didn't tell me about Lawford here. Now, see here, Marlowe. You've got a fine girl, Lawford. Rich, too. You know how much insurance her husband left? I have no idea. Sure you do. Didn't you go to the Trans World Insurance Company this afternoon and try to pass off as Mrs. Gilbert's representative? Or didn't you know? No. If you're quite through, not nearly. That was very impressive. Thanks. What do you think of him as our killer? Oh, I'm afraid I don't see it. Neither do I. And that puts it squarely up to you. I beg your pardon. You killed your husband. Oh, Mr. Marlowe, please. You knew the police would catch on fast enough that he didn't commit suicide. That's why you put the gun in his right hand. You, of all people, knew he was left-handed. But you made one mistake. You forgot to prepare an alibi for yourself. Well, I told you I was in bed at 9 o'clock asleep. Then you should have heard the gunshot. I thought the police established the shot was at 10.30. How would you know? It was just established 20 minutes ago while I was at headquarters. Oh. Well. I guess I goofed. I guess you did. Do you think we could drop him off downtown? I'd hate to have Sammy find him here. Hmm. Should we take my car or yours? Let's take mine. I don't think you'll be coming back. been a Mark Goodson, Bill Todman production in association with California National Productions.